Hi everyone and welcome to a very special blog post for the Catherine Pooler trimmings release. So I'm going to be part of a video hop today and I've used the brand new Peace, Love and Doves background stamp. Now I've heat embossed this with WOW super fine opaque bright white and I've done about four panels but I'll only show you three today for your cards. So what I'm doing is I'm actually inking my block and putting the ink directly on my Catherine Pooler round circle block and I'm placing this ink pad directly on the block then I will be spritzing it. So the colors of that are colors that I've chosen today are the new Mardi Gras from this collection Lime Ricky Tiara It's a Boy and Aquatini. So I'm going to and froing between these inks. Um, for each panel and I'll make one each slightly different each panel. So I've only, I only choose three colors at a time um, and then I just keep inking up or spraying and adding water in my block. Um, I think on the third card is when if I put too much water in I just pick up extra ink. Now the Catherine Pooler cardstock which is the 100 pound cardstock it's ultra smooth premium white now if you want quality that's what you get now I also play with all that jazz that which I forgot to mention earlier so the colors vary each time um, and what my tip is make sure you spray not only your block but I spray my cardstock once or two spots two pumps with this distress sprayer just to help that ink move along that little bit more. So I only added one spray there um, and it depends I suppose how much flow and water you've got on your block. So I knew how much excess water I had on my block and then I am just pressing down. Now I didn't want to cover my whole um, white cardstock. Um, I'm just basically winging it and just adding ink where I wanted to and I'm sticking more a central look. So if I was happy with that I dry each with my heat with my heat tool and I feel like um, I added ink every time I waited for it to dry. If I feel like I needed to act you know add extra ink I'll do so. So here I'm going to add some lime ricky. I just wanted to pull in some more of that green. So even though I dried it I needed to I felt like I needed to add a little bit more color so the brightness of these inks are beautiful even diluted it's just lovely so you can only just imagine with the second generation stamping the color um, and ink you will achieve it's just beautiful now I've got like a microfiber cloth so I do keep drying my surface because I didn't want to oversaturate. So they're the two panels so far and then I'm bringing in my third one. So this method here is I'm using one color at a time whereas I added the colors on like multiple colors on one block. So I worked with one color at a time for this one and I felt like it wasn't enough water so I just added some more just to pull it around. The light blue was probably a little bit too light um, that I was covering it up once I hit the darker ones but I didn't mind it. The end results for all three panels were just beautiful and was enough for me. Now if you do hear that little rattle behind me I am babysitting some kittens and I've got three gorgeous kittens in my house and they're very mischievous. So that's the jingle. It's not Christmas. We're not celebrating Christmas early though I could work it to say that I am especially being a Christmas video as such <laughs> with the um, with the new release it's working out well but no that's my kittens. Right so once I've picked up and I sprayed extra if at any stage I feel like I added extra ink I use my microfiber cloth or a paper towel to pick up excess ink. Um, I felt like it needed one more layer of color and this time I added that tiara color. I love this color. It is a beautiful muted yellow um, and it is such a versatile yellow to have in your stash. So I'm going to pick up some ink, place it on there. So I'm just basically what you would do a stamping with your stamp set. I'm stamping with my block. Okay and then I just picked up some extra ink. I wanted just some of that yellow tone that worked with the Lime Ricky really well. And I dry all these panels with my WOW heat embossing tool. 
Now, instead of, which is one of my favorite techniques with Catherine Puller inks, um, direct ink to paper coloring my cardstock, I've used a blending tool. I didn't feel like I needed that heavier of a color and the ink blending tool did the job for me. So I inked up three panels, Mardi Gras, Lime, Ricky, and I'm pretty sure it was Aquatini. So these are all matching the card panels that we've just done. And I'm just inking these up. Now, I'm only just doing the edges. I didn't really have to do the whole panel because I'm going to uh, place a strip of white cardstock to stamp the sentiment directly over the top, just leaving a border, just a 1 8 inch border. So the first sentiment, now this is from the, let me try and remember, the Seasonal Sentiments and Border Stamp Set. So this has some beautiful array of borders to uh, accent your sentiments. I'm not going to use that today. I felt like these sentiments were beautiful. The flourishing of this font is gorgeous. Um, and I enjoyed this whole stamping process with this beautiful stamp set. Um, and I'm just keeping the card because the card panel is quite vibrant. I felt like I didn't need to embellish um, the card. But I did add foam layers in between the sentiment and the colored cardstock. And then I'm just adhering with my Tombow Mono Liquid Adhesive. Now I'm adhering on the top left of every card here. Um, and there is my card. I kept it rather simple. It's a great tree of cards, but using your block to stamp with has been so much fun. And those inks are so vibrant. Check it out. I hope you enjoyed today's video creation. And I can't wait to see your comments. And your next stop is Jenny. So I'll link her link down below in the product description. Um, and she'll be one of the first ones of the link to visit. Thanks for watching. Bye.